Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn about how to ungroup clip art in PowerPoint 2010. In this video we're first of all going to use clip art to enhance our presentations. Next we're going to learn how to ungroup clip art graphics and finally we're going to learn how to delete sections of a clip and art graphic that we might not need or that we might not want. So let's say you're planning a presentation and in this video we want to look at three different types of graphics. And I have a slide here where I want to uh, put material about planning our holiday and let's say I want to insert some clip art that's going to help me um, enhance my my slide here. So first thing I need to do is go up to the insert ribbon so up in the top left hand corner click on insert and you'll see that there are several options along the ribbon here including one here on the left hand side called clip art so let's select that. And this will bring up over on the right hand side of our picture uh, different clip art objects that we will use. And let's say I want to add in a clip art for Desert Island so I've typed that in here and I've done a search for a desert island and I've searched through the available clip art graphics that are here and I'm going to select this one here with a man sitting at a computer on a desert island so let's click on that the graphic is inserted on my slide and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that we can see what we are doing so here is a nice graphic of clip art that we can add to our slide but let's say for the sake of argument I don't want all this oval stuff that's around here I just want the island the tree and the guy sitting on his deck chair on the computer now Microsoft allows you to manipulate these graphics. So the first thing you need to do is when the select the graphic and right click so that you get the group option here in the center because what I want to do is I want to ungroup all the different objects that make up the graphic. So when I click on that I will get a message and I will always get this message that this is an imported picture not a group. Do you want to convert it to a Microsoft Office drawing object? And in each case I'm going to select yes. So select yes here. And as I go through then my image, uh, I will note that each part of the image, I'm clicking on everything here, each part of the image is ma makes up the image as a whole. So if I want to remove the oval pieces here on the outside, I just click on it and start to delete them as I am doing here now. Delete, delete the sections, delete the sun from the background, delete these blue bits down here at the bottom. And I'm left with a small graphic here with just the pieces that I want. And I can move this, say, over to the left-hand side of my presentation. And I can now continue to um, do my presentation and add in the rest of the content that I want. All clip art graphics are transparent, so no matter what the background uh, that you use, the graphic will display uh, in a transparent background on that. Let's take a look at a second example here. Let's say a medical care uh, presentation that you are doing. Uh, you want to have uh, an item on uh, something like a wheelchair access. So go over to the clip art and search for wheelchair. Click on search. And I'm going to scroll down here until I find the wheelchair graphic that I want for my presentation. Now, not all graphics in the clip art library will allow you to remove sections of it. So I've got one here called Doctors, Females and Healthcare, so I'll select that and make it bigger as before so that we can see what we're doing. And I've got a graphic here with, again, some background um, um, parts on the graphic that I want to remove. So in order to remove those and just keep the, the nurse with the person in the wheelchair, click right-click on my graphic, select Group and choose to ungroup all the components of the graphic and once again select Yes when you're warned about importing the graphic. And as before, just click on the bits you don't want and delete them. So there's quite a few here, so I'll just delete all of these. The background is going, get rid of these little circles. And I'm left once again with just the parts of the graphic that I need to use. I make this smaller and I say in this particular presentation I want to have my graphic over and on the right hand side and it's transparent once again. So I've removed all the components I need. One final example here is let's say we want to look uh, at a computer class and we're talking about computer cables. So let me go over here and search for computer. Okay, and let's scroll down here until we find a computer graphic that we want to choose and here's one over here on the right hand side a graphic once again that has some background information and let's say for the sake of argument I just want the computer the guy with the tie and holding up the cable so let's get rid of the bits we don't want right click choose group choose on group say yes to the warning 
and just one by one select all the bits that you don't need and remove them from the graphic. This doesn't require any special drawing skills, you just select the bits that you don't want. And here I'm left with the graphic that I can move around, transparent graphic, resize to whatever size it is that I want to choose and I've now got the components of the clip art graphic that I can do. And I can do this with many of the clip art graphics in the library that Microsoft supplies. I hope you found this short tutorial useful. Thank you for your attention.